Made on Zencaster. The following podcast is a Jill Divine Media production. Two Kids in a Career is brought to you by Blondin Real Estate. They're a family-owned boutique-style brokerage with over 40 years of experience serving the counties that surround St. Louis. See the properties they have to offer at BlondinRealEstate.com. That's BlondinRealEstate.com. Evoke Creative is a proud sponsor of Two Kids and a Career. They help small business owners like me brand with purpose and market with intent. The ladies at Evoke Creative will help make your digital presence known. Learn more at evokecco.com. That's evokecco.com. Hi there, and welcome to Two Kids in a Career. I'm Jill Devine. As an entrepreneur, wife, and mama, the daily grind of trying to build a business while taking care of kids and trying to maintain a healthy connection with my hubby, it's a lot. With this podcast, you're going to hear candid conversations with other moms, parenting experts who can share their knowledge and insight, or you'll just hear me rambling to get it all out. There's going to be tears, there's going to be laughter, but most importantly, there will be support. Take a listen and connect with me so we can grow and learn from one another. This is Two Kids and a Career. Welcome to 2023 and season eight of Two Kids and a Career. I'm your host, Jill Devine, and I am so, so incredibly thankful that you are back with me for another season and for some more content that you've been asking for. And before we get into this week's conversation, I want to highlight Blondin Professional Real Estate, one of the sponsors of the podcast. They have signed on for another season, and I am so incredibly grateful. And one of the things that I was thinking about before recording this conversation with you is when it comes to real estate, and maybe you're listening in a different city outside of St. Louis where I am from, and you think, well, I don't really need a real estate company right now, or I'm not looking in the St. Louis area, it's always good to have connections and to know about your different options. You never know who you may run into that may be interested in some place here in the St. Louis area, or that could be you. So it's always nice to have the options ready and Blonde and Professional Real Estate, they are the best. They know this community. Uh, it's it's unbelievable the amount of messages that I see them post on social media about knowing their community so well. Like you want a real estate agent that knows the shortcuts and the different roads to take and how you're going to get here if you are lost. They just know this community so well. And I would love for you to check them out. BlondinProfessionalRealEstate.com. That's B-L-O-N-D-I-N. BlondinProfessionalRealEstate.com. Okay, so for this week's conversation, I don't have a guest. It's just me again, and I'm rolling solo. And what I do is I launch episodes every other week. So I will have a guest in two weeks. But I wanted to take this episode, the first episode of 2023, and talk a little bit about the word that I have chosen for this year and kind of get some feedback from you as well. Uh, I don't know if this is something that you do, if this is something that you put with New Year's resolutions or New Year's goals. I don't typically now do resolutions anymore. I found that with my personality that kind of set me up for failure because I'm one of those. It's like I got to do everything right. And if I don't do it right, then I think I fail and then I just derail my whole self. So I don't necessarily do resolutions anymore. Sometimes I'll put goals down, but I started picking a word and the word for the year. And 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 I'll be honest, I'm not great at always honoring that word. I do have it posted in multiple places in my life, like in my bathroom. I have it on a post-it note on the inside of my vanity mirror. I have it written all over my planner. I have it in my closet uh, where my jewelry is. And it's just a reminder that, hey, you took the time to choose what you intentionally wanted to think about for the year. So do that. Just a reminder. And so I 
feel like last year it took me quite a while and quite a few words before I landed on release. That was my word for 2022. But this year, as soon as I started to think about what the word would be, it came to me immediately and I didn't question it. I didn't go to anybody with it because that's another thing that I like to do, get uh, some validation on things. I just said, okay, this is it. And so the word that I chose for 2023 is consistent. And when I landed on that word, I was like, yes, this is it. I love it. And then I started to think about it again and thought, well, is consistent boring or not challenging myself to go above and beyond? And then I thought, no, that's not what consistent personally means to me. Let me first read the definition to you from dictionary.com. Adjective for consistent, acting or done in the same way over time, especially so as to be fair or accurate. As an example, the parents are being consistent and firm in their reactions. Another definition, unchanging in nature, standard or effect over time. So the example, he is their most consistent player this season. And then one more, compatible or in agreement with something. The example, the injuries are consistent with falling from a great height. For me, and and this is something that I actually want to get some more help with, is I don't think I'm consistent when it comes to block scheduling or dividing up my time and my energy. And the example I I can give or the examples that most come to mind, as I've talked about in past episodes and on social media, I also have another job at my church, Messiah St. Charles. I mentioned this in season seven's recap episode, but I work there as the community groups coordinator, which basically I help people join groups and grow spiritually and connect relationally. And and faith is super important to me. And the other thing that I started doing at the church is a podcast called Normal Goes a Long Way. And that is my faith journey. So I have my church job and then I have this job. And I have had so many different experts on this podcast talk to me about when you are busy and you're switching tasks and you're switching different uh, thought processes, so to speak, like basically having multiple emails open and trying to do five things at once that it, you're just setting yourself up to fail. And that I, I believe one guest I had on said it takes your mind 30 minutes, and I'm totally paraphrasing this, but like 30 minutes to adjust to the next task. So you're not giving it your all. And that's what I've been doing. I've been giving it my all, but not realizing I'm not fully in it, focused like I should be and like I want to be. I feel like I'm all over the place and that's my own doing. So that's what I really thought about with consistency. Okay, when I block schedule, which I don't do. I definitely need some help with, like I just said. But okay, is it from 9 a.m. to noon? I am working on community group stuff for the church. And then from noon to three, I'm working on the podcast for Normal Goes a Long Way for the church. And then do I come home and then maybe take an hour out of my evening before or after the girls' bedtime, before my bedtime, and then work on this podcast? I'm just kind of all over the place working on every day of the week, every night of the week, and that's got to change. So I am 
going to be consistent. I'm going to be consistent in figuring out my schedule and when I am at my best, when I am energized and creative and and then also listen to my body when it says, okay, you need to slow down. We need to refuel. And then I want to take that obviously into my personal life too. Consistency in that regard, I'm not 100% sure how it looks like. But I think one thing that I think about a lot is making sure that phone is down when I'm with my girls, making sure that they get my undivided attention when we're playing or when they ask me to play. That's I've improved on that a lot, but I have a ways to go. And part of that comes from when I have too many things going on and I'm not sleeping because I'm thinking about what needs to be done. And then my mind's always racing. And this is just part of my personality. Then I'm not fully present. Um, So I want to work on that. And, And I will say this last year, we were a little bit more spontaneous, too, in things that we we would go and do. Definitely not something for this type A planner to jump on board with. And I actually was reflecting on it last night when I wasn't sleeping, <laughs> thinking about all the things that I needed to do. Um, it's just a couple of days into the new year. So give me some time. But I was thinking, oh, why can't I have a cleaner house or a um, the laundry always done? Or, you know, I, I would maybe get a question of, well, why don't you have time to do that? Why don't you have time to sweep up your leaves on your porch or whatever. And it's like, okay, I now realize that, I mean, I'm tired and so is my husband, but we are listening to our bodies. We are making sure that we are refilling our minds and our souls and being there with the girls and maybe being like, all right, screw it. We're not having dinner at home tonight. We're going out. Just doing things like that. So I'm I'm definitely giving myself a little bit of a break on that as well. I mean, having a four and a six-year-old, it's hard. Having kids in general is hard. But I definitely feel like I have not embraced that enough, meaning that I don't give myself enough grace on that. Um, As I've talked in several episodes, I am in a different stage of life than a lot of my friends. And that can be lonely and isolating when you're used to doing certain things with certain people and then that just changes. But that's the beauty of, for me, growing and learning and being accepting to hearing what others may say about their thoughts on it and then also hearing me out. So yeah, that long-winded explanation of consistent, you shouldn't be surprised by that. What I'd like to know is, do you have a word that you choose each year? And if so, what is it? Email me, hello at jilldevine.com, where you can find me on Facebook, LinkedIn, Instagram, Twitter. Everything is online at jilldevine.com. Yeah, I'd like to know if you have a word. I'd also like to know what tips and tricks have helped you stick with that word. Stick with your goals. Stick with your resolutions. One thing that I want to mention is... Help. Asking for help is always a hard thing. For me, at least, I am getting better about it. And I think that's something, too, that we need to talk more about is asking the help, understanding the help, understanding it's okay, and 
being good with it. And I think that this is something that's very easy for me to transition into telling you about a sponsor of the podcast about helping because, gosh, if it wasn't for Crystal and Tiffany at Evoke Creative, I'm not sure where I would be. I mean, I know that I am hardworking and I'm determined and I will get things done, but they lit a fire um, that I I don't know how long that fire would have taken to get lit or stay lit if it wasn't for them. And they helped design my website. They helped me come up with a plan for two kids in a career. They helped get me my business in order with Jill Divine Media. And the thing with them is they love to help. That's what they do. They love helping small businesses, whether it is a, a website refresh or complete website design like mine or logo. You need some different color palettes to choose from. They will help you. And it's one of those things, too, that when you hear somebody like me talk to you about a certain business and you're like, oh, I don't know. I can't really uh, I can't really afford it. I say it all the time. Can't really afford it. Not sure that this is for me. Here's what I would encourage you to do. I would love for you to do this with Evoke Creative, but do this in general. Just ask. Just say, hey, here's where I'm needing help. How can you help me? What's it going to cost? Because listen, we're all in the same boat together. We're all trying to help each other succeed. And so you'd be surprised if you just ask for a little help and see what can happen. For more information about Evoke Creative, you can go to go to evokecco.com. Again, it's evokecco.com. They would be more than happy to help you out. I, I know that from firsthand experience. So as we take today's episode and close it on out and get ready for some great content over this season eight. I would love to hear what content you want to hear. I mean, you're the one that is interested in the different guests that I bring on. So what do you want to hear more about? What do you want to hear about that I haven't covered? Maybe you have something that you want to talk about. Let's do it. Let's talk. Let's make sure that we are helping others and that we are being there for others. And here's another thing. If you are like me with, you know, coming up with, let's say, a word of the year and you're like, oh, my gosh, we're already a few days into 2023 and I don't have a word and If I don't get a word, then the whole year, no, 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 don't stop. Stop that thinking right now. I think last year it took me until February to land on my word. Your life is always a work in progress. And it doesn't matter if it starts on January 1st, 2023 or December 31st, 2023. As long as you are doing the work, And you are doing what you can do to be the healthiest, happiest version of you. That's all that matters. So don't let the numbers mess with your head. I know, easier said than done because I am that person. One thing at a time. That's consistency. And that's what I'm going to focus on too. So consistent is my word. Share with me your word if you have one, or like I said, your goals or resolutions. Also, who you want me to talk to on this podcast. And I mentioned JillDevine.com. Email hello at JillDevine.com. Social media, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, LinkedIn. You can find all of the handles at JillDevine.com. I'd love to hear from you. And as always, thank you for your support of two kids and a career.